Something inside you tells you everything's going to be okay. You're taken care of. There's nothing to worry about. You are going to be okay. And you have developed this powerful intuition and this communication with the guru within and you trust it and you fall back into this place and you accept what is and you surrender to what is. And as you go forward and you do that, then a great quality is going to be cultivated in you. You begin to develop a very, very high quality of a attitude that this will save you. And that is humility. You become humble. Humility is a treasure that we develop within ourselves. To become humble to life. That means your ego starts to subside. This me, this voice that I am this and I am that and I am powerful and I'm the author of my life and I can do this and this is mine and I want everything for myself and I don't give a shit about anybody else as long as I get what I want and I don't care. Me, me, me. That one, which is ugly, is an ugly voice. It's got an ugly face, which is hidden. Always wants to sneak in and says, look at me, look at me. I am such an amazing healer. Look at me, look at me. It's my energy, my energy that does this. Or look at me how smart I am, how pretty I am, how amazing I am. Or I can manifest anything I want. Me, me, me. Now we, you start to recognize that one. You can see that's really ugly. Whenever it comes out of you, or whenever it comes out of me, I can see how ugly I become. Because I see it. And sometimes it comes out, you don't see it. And then someone reflects it back to you or a situation in life happened that boom, you get hit. Because you're getting closer. Your relationship to the guru within is getting stronger and stronger. So messages come very quickly. If you're off the line, they immediately put you back. And you may look at it as a form of a punishment, but it's not punishment, it's out of love. Because you're getting closer to the source. You're getting closer to the final destination of dissolving into the oneness, dissolving into pure love, where there's no ego. Where the me, the little me, disappears into pure love. And then your heart is completely open and you're completely a vessel of light and love without the ego. So surrender, acceptance, and surrender. As you start to raise your, your consciousness, you begin to see and you begin to accept when things don't go your way. So you surrender to that. And as you surrender and accept it, then you begin to see the magic of life because you're in communication, you're constant communication with, with God, with the voice within, with the spirit. And in that, you become humble. Humility comes. You, you bow at the presence because the presence begins to show itself to you. The present, you're accepting life you're surrendering to life, and now the presence begins to show herself in your daily life. And you start to feel it. You start to see it. You start to touch it. It begins to dance around you. It plays around you. 
It tickles you. It kisses you. And you start to have this feeling of a very subtle dosage of bliss con constantly throughout your day. And you become, start to become balanced in life. Your ups and downs, they get a lot less. If before you were going up and down and up and down, now you're just going a little bit up and down. You're getting more steady. And since you're feeling the bless, and you become humble, because you start to see that when you see the homeless people on the street, when you see people are poor or they're dirty looking or whatever it is, you don't judge them anymore. Because you start to realize life circumstances has brought them to this point. Life circumstances put somebody go through divorce and lose their husband and kids and money. Life circumstances brought someone to getting cancer and losing an arm. Life circumstances, you know, you see all these people are mighty, powerful, super wealthy, and, and then a few years after you hear this story that they became homeless, and you start to kind of be humble about it. Not being afraid, but humility comes. Humbleness. Your judgment goes away. You don't judge people or things so quick, so fast, as you were doing it before. Now you're moving more into your divinity. You're dissolving. It's a dissolution of I am this, I am that, I am mighty, into I am. Not I am something, into the I am. You dive in slowly into it. You become more quiet. You're more sensitive. You don't really want to be in a lot of noisy people with a lot of noise. You start to develop enjoying aloneness. You're comfortable hanging out by yourself. You no longer get nervous or frightened that you're alone. Loneliness turns into aloneness. It's another quality that is being developed in you. 